Hello folks, how 2023 CAT 23 stumped us, um, especially in the quant section. CAT 23 was a bah, rather tough paper. The logical reasoning data interpretation was kind of uh, of the same level of difficulty. It's probably been the toughest section for seven, eight years now. But last year in CAT 2023, the quant got amped up ridiculously uh, high. It was properly, insanely challenging quant was. And so uh, we're going to think about how it was, uh, what exactly was difficult and uh, how can we tweak our preparation? How do we need to bring some change into the way we prepare? And so it's very important to take some learning. Uh, and then we'll take stock on what what, what way 24 can go, CAT 24 can go. And before we go on to how 2023 paper was, it's just good to take stock about how, how has CAT been, syllabus wise. Uh, typically about close to 40% of the questions are from arithmetic. Uh, one third from algebra, but algebra questions are from linear equations, quadratic equations, uh, simple solving and factorizing. Anything with x and y we call it as algebra. But the, 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 this, is, this used to be the pattern. About 20% give or take from geometry, the rest from number theory, modern math and all of that. It's a typical pattern. Uh, the playbook was very clear. Get a beautiful handle on this. 40% of the questions, so 9, 10 questions. If you can attack almost all of them or 8 out of 10 and get most of them right, you have a route to 93, 94 percentile. That's in the bag. Then go towards one of these three that you're comfortable with. Maybe pick some freebies here or go here or go here, whichever one you are at home at and then attack that. And so that is how typically the playbook used to be. And so, and it, it worked, it worked remarkably well for several years. And so get this in the bag. And some students have an aspiration to get 99.8, 99.9 in quant. They have to do everything. They have to be super good at mathematics. That's a whole separate ball game. For those of us who feel like, look, I want to clear the cutoff first, get 90th percentile next, and see if I have a route to 94, 95, then look up from there. The strategy was very clear. Attack this, then go to one of these three, see where the, the cards fall. That's how the, the approach used to be. And so if you look at CAT 2023, so it's very funny, the paper was supposedly very heavily loaded towards algebra. But if you look at the numbers, it wasn't. And so uh, geometry had shrunk, modern math had, and number theory had increased. Uh, this had shrunk a little bit from nearly 40% to 33.3%. This is mean more or less the same. But, but the big caveat here, uh, questions became super challenging. The perception was that algebra had been amped up. Uh, but it was, I think it was more that the challenge level had been amped up. So lots of questions in arithmetic where you had to put tons of variables into it. Lots of questions in algebra that were no, lo no longer from linear equation, quadratic equations and arithmetic progression, geometric progression with some logarithm thrown in, but with, um, you know, with, with proper heavy duty algebra, squares and cubes and all of that. And so the, the type of algebra questions came, changed and the level of difficulty amped up. And so uh, to, to see, just take a couple of examples. This kind of questions uh, were few and far between the years before. Last year, this became one of those questions that they slipped in generally. And super tough, super difficult. And, but the, the perception or the takeaway immediately after the exam with, with so-called experts like um, yours truly, we all came back and said, look, algebra has been amped up, algebra has been uh, impossibly tough. Uh, they have taken us heavy duty towards algebra and all that. Um, that's, that's kind of, I won't say it is wrong, but it's not the full picture. And so the level of difficulty, this question is from geometry. Tough, tough, tough. I'm not going to go and discuss this question. The solution for this is available. It will be available in the link. Check that out. Right? This question, this looks like a, an averages question where you frame equations. You read, you read, you read. And then it goes back to number of possible distinct integer values. And then that just amps up the level of difficulty. You would categorize this as an arithmetic question or a modern math number systems question or an algebra question because you'll write variables and solve for them. Whichever way you put bucket it in, it's super tough. Right? So the level of difficulty has amped up. The style of algebra has amped up. And so what do we do in terms of preparation? I would say stick to the old fashioned basics and the takeaways, that's the important part, right? So get this in the bag. It is super tough to crack this exam without being super comfortable with, our, with percentages, profit and loss, speed, time, races, ratios, mixtures, pipes and systems. If you don't have the backbone, it's impossible. But in last cat, about a third of the questions were here. Seven questions or eight questions, give or take in each session. If you got five of them right and knew nothing else, you still had a route to 92, 93rd percentage. So that, that playbook 
of saying, get comfortable with this before you go elsewhere is still intact. In 14, 15 questions, it takes you to 99.8, 99.9. The level of difficulty is amped up. Uh, there is a perception or a belief or a very strong feeling that algebra has been jacked up dramatically. The pattern of algebra has changed from being linked to exponential logarithm, progressions, linear equation, quadratic equation. It has become more heavy duty x, y, z and cubics and all kinds of stuff. And so the questions that we saw were not among the tougher ones. Or probably among the tougher ones, but the ones that are far tougher than even this sitting inside. And so uh, the, the biggest takeaway, how should we prepare for uh, for for quant this time around i would still say that the original playbook is more or less intact be super comfortable with arithmetic but the level of difficulty you have to amp it up typically competitive exams have the aptitude based exam like the the, the, the bank po type exam the level of difficulty was this cat was this high o over time these guys have become tougher and tougher cat has gone tougher this time cat 19 to 22 to 23 they're basically saying the quant was Ingeo tough, super tough, and they just amped it up dramatically. Uh, so the don't leave fundamentals on the table. Don't do just one shortcutty thing. Don't do one uh, gimmicky skimming speed math. Let me do this quickly thing. So if you, I think, keep repeating. If you've done seven questions, all correct, you're looking at 98, 99 percentile this year. Seven questions in 40 minutes, you don't have to do quickly. Do slowly, but very clearly, and approach it with, with clarity. You can get them right. So the depth and clarity is super important, right? And then understand and accept that the algebra part has changed shape a little bit. Those of you who are aiming for 99.3, 99.4, you have to add a few layers to it. You have to add about, think about completion of squares. Think about solving x plus one by x and linking it to x square plus one by x square. Think about uh, understanding AMGM inequality. Think about uh, kind of internalizing polynomial remainder theorem. These are kind of things that were on the, on the higher reaches of algebra that you need not have done at depth. Now you need to do it and do it at some depth to have a crack at that very, really juicy high percentile. And there's a need to be able to do a lot of arithmetic questions where variables come in. When 30 minutes, pipe A can fill the tank, pipe B can fill in 60 minutes. What are, what will it take if A, B and C together fill it in 20 minutes? What is C's role? That kind of questions are are there, but that's not the ball game. Question probably says A can finish it in n minutes. B takes two n minutes to finish it. Uh, if C can finish it in 40 minutes, and the time that they can put all together is is 10 minutes less than n, what are the possible values of n? So it's the same idea, same funda, but you put that n in, you figure out and get a quadratic equation, and then you have to solve it and get the roots. So you've got to get comfortable plonking variables into ratio questions, mixtures questions, allegations questions, and pipe systems questions. That that intersection of arithmetic and algebra, very crucial. You have to add that, that layer. If you're aiming for this spot and saying, look, I need to be comfortable with this also, you have to add those trickier bits. Definitely, no doubt about it. Uh, these parts remain the same. Again, the final takeaways. Uh, what is the chance that CAT 2024 is, is like this or worse? We don't know. Lots of times CAT has flirted with a change in pattern and reverted to mean. So very tough section and then somewhere, somewhere, some, some alarm bells go and then they say, look, this is too tough. What are we doing here? Should, should we need to have this high level of quant and algebra? This is uh, unwittingly discriminatory to a group of people who are not comfortable with so many X's and Y's. Are we intimidating one lakh students and, and just not seeing them at their best? They look at all these questions and then say, look, I'll come back. I'll tone it down, dial it down. That could happen. Or it could be a shift where somewhere uh, someone sitting there and saying, look, we, our exam needs to be a little tougher than it has been so far. In 2015, that shift happened for logical reasoning. For 15, 16 and 15 and 16, at least we were all waiting and hoping for LRDI to become simpler, like how it used to be. It never happened. 2017, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, it become progressively tougher or the same level. So we don't know. So you, we have to hedge our bets. So get the fundas in place beautifully for arithmetic. Finish this, put it in the back, then go here. Understand that that, that original playbook, which says be a king of arithmetic, that's your route to 93rd percentile, is still true. It still holds good. It held good in CAT 2023. The immediate perception was so many X's and Y's without algebra, you can't touch this question. No, no, leave all the algebra. Go to your sweet spot, get five questions right. You have a ticket to go into a great college. So keeping your wits with you, was always important, continues to be important. So keep that in mind. Get If you're a beginner in 
in, in getting into this quant battle. Don't get caught in completion of squares and polynomial remainder theorem and, and AMGM inequality. It's a nightmare. Start with this, put this in the bag. But understand that this is now uh, crucial if you have 99, 99.5, 99.7 ambitions. First takeaway. Second takeaway, doing these questions but with variables thrown in is a skill set that all of us need to add. There is a set of questions that are arithmetic and algebra overlap. A pipe A fills it in n minutes is the world we live in, not 60, 30 and 120. So n minutes, 3 n minutes, that's the world we live in. That's going to be a crucial bit that we all need to add in terms of skill set. This has been a gentle increase in difficulty. No, no, gentle is a wrong word. Non-gentle increase in difficulty in this spot. But the takeaways are around, around here. And start from basics, focus on arithmetic, put that in the bag. Amp up your algebra dramatically if you're super ambitious and you're looking at the 99.9s and saying, look, that's where I want to play. Otherwise, you can leave polynomial remainder theorem, AMGM inequality, polynomial remainder theorem, straightforward, completion of squares, etc. Heavy duty, complex numbers, flirting with that algebra, you can leave that on the table and still get 99 percentile. So, those of you starting from the basics, start from comfort zones, add this as a layer, but don't worry about the real easy questions, not required. Fine. Super folks. Uh, good to talk. If you have any questions, queries and specifics, do send us an email. The solutions for all of these questions are available online. The links to that will be available in the description. Please have a crack at them. Thank you. Hush.